Keep in mind tonight when confronted with reporting that very little of the deal he made with Mexico is actually new and much of it was agreed to months ago, President Trump late today tripled down on the unspecified and as yet unfounded claim he doubled down on just this morning and first made actually over the weekend. Well, we have an agreement on something that uh, they will announce very soon. It's all done. And they have to get approval, and they will get approval. If they don't get approval, we'll have to think in terms of tariffs. I don't think they'll be denying it very long. It's all done. He did not say what is all done, just as he did not in his tweet this morning, quoting the president, we have fully signed and documented another very important part of the immigration and security deal with Mexico, one that the U.S. has been asking about getting for many years. It will be revealed in the not-too-distant future and will need a vote by Mexico's legislative body. Again, no specifics there, which would be one thing if suspicions hadn't been raised on Saturday in reporting by The New York Times as Michael Shear and Maggie Haberman. Michael Shear joins us momentarily. Briefly put, uh, their story says, and I'm quoting now the lead, the deal to avert tariffs that President Trump announced with great fanfare on Friday night consists largely of actions that Mexico had already promised to take in prior discussions with the U.S. over the past several months, according to officials from both countries who are familiar with the negotiations. In other words, whatever might be coming down the pike when it comes to what has already transpired, all the drama, all the talks, all the threats of what amounts to waging economic warfare on a major trading partner and ally, were all about nothing. And the president's reaction has been mm, volcanic. Yesterday evening, he tweeted, the failing New York Times story on Mexico and illegal immigration through our southern border has now been proven shockingly false and untrue, bad reporting, and the paper is embarrassed by it. Early this morning, he tweeted, we have fully signed and documented another very important part of the immigration and security deal with Mexico, one that the U.S. has been asking about getting for many years. It will be revealed in the not-too-distant future. Now, keep it honest, if the Times is embarrassed about its reporting, didn't stop the paper or anyone from building on it today when Mexico's foreign minister went public. Their lead, this time the Mexican foreign minister, said Monday that no secret immigration deal existed between his country and the United States, directly contradicting President Trump's claim on Twitter that a fully signed and documented agreement would be revealed soon. So not only is that pesky paper they call the Grey Lady confirming their own reporting that there's no new secret immigration deal, their on the record source is the Mexican government. Same Mexican government that's, you know, the only other partner in this dance. Now, is it possible something actually is in the works but the Mex Mexican foreign minister is not aware of it? Maybe or that they don't want it known they agreed to something, also possible. But the president also offered no evidence, and, you know, he does have a track record on this type of thing, one that doesn't exactly lend itself to taking it on faith, one that's long and stoking fires, then claiming credit for putting him out. Did it with Kim Jong-un, first the fire and fury, and then this. If I had not been elected president of the United States, we would right now, in my opinion, be in a major war with North Korea. Well, he did it with the wall, this time claiming credit for a fire that was dying long before he even took office. The border city of El Paso, Texas, used to have extremely high rates of violent crime, one of the highest in the entire country, and considered one of our nation's most dangerous cities. Now, Immediately upon its building, with a powerful barrier in place, El Paso is one of the safest cities in our country. So what wall there is was already in place when he said that, and what crime there is was already low. This time, who knows? Join us now, Michael Shear, White House correspondent for The New York Times and CNN political analyst. So, Michael... Do you have an idea what the president is is talking about here, what this coming announcement is? Because the Mexican foreign minister certainly doesn't seem to. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a mystery. Um, there's, the, you know, the, the closest that we can get in terms of speculating what he is talking about is a, a an agreement that the American negotiators last week pressed for repeatedly and the, and the Mexicans refused. Uh, which is a, a, a kind of overhaul of the asylum rules that would uh, uh, force migrants that are trying to reach the United States to claim asylum to claim asylum first in Mexico. Uh, and if they don't do that, then the United States would have the legal right to refuse them entirely, saying that you'd have to, 
you have to uh, apply for asylum first there. That's something that the two countries have been fighting about for a long time. The, the Mexicans refused to do that. Um, is it possible that, um, you know, since then they've sort of secretly agreed to do it? Um, that's possible, though, again, asked that the Mexican foreign minister, Ebrard, said this morning that that wasn't the case, that Mexico hadn't agreed to it. So you'd have to assume that the foreign minister of Mexico in a public press conference to the world is lying about what his government had agreed to, uh, to believe that they have some secret agreement. Now, the truth is what they have agreed to, from what we can tell, is to keep talking so that if the, the number of migrants don't reduce that are coming across the border, um, the, the Mexican government, from what we can tell, did agree to keep talking about this 45 days from now, 90 days from now. Um, but that's a far cry from what the president has been tweeting and talking about. And, and just to be clear, is the New York Times, in fact, embarrassed by your reporting <laughs> and and has it been proven shockingly false and untrue, as the president says? We're totally, we're, we're completely not embarrassed by it. And I, and and look, it, it had, there is nothing that we reported in the Sunday that I reported in the Sunday piece uh, that has been proven false at all. In fact, you know, I had been doing reporting for weeks, if not months, uh, uh, about the uh, things that the governments, the two governments, have been agreeing to. Um, you know, to try to combat the, the, the problem of migrants coming up from Guatemala and El Salvador and Honduras. And, and the truth is, American officials had been telling me for weeks, long before this terror fight ever, ever erupted, uh, that, that one of the things that they had been most hopeful about were some of these agreements that they'd, that they'd put in place last December and again in March to try to, you know, to try to stop some of these, uh, uh, some of this flow. And, and so the fact that the president came out on Friday night and touted the very things that we had been hearing about for weeks and months uh, seemed to us to be uh, contrary to the idea that this was a big new uh, uh, achievement that had been, that had been, uh, reached because of the tariff threat. So did the tariff threat have any effect at all? Or, or, or was this, as you said, I mean, at least big parts of it completed months ago? Yeah, look, I, I think one of the things that had, has also been true over the, over the past six months, but also the last two and a half years that the Trump administration has been in office, is a frustration that the Mexican government makes promises and then sort of slow walks them, doesn't follow through or doesn't follow through aggressively enough. And so what the, the case that the administration officials I've talked to over the last couple of days have made is that, that the tariff threat uh, uh, sort of lit a fire under, underneath the feet of the Mexicans and that they are more hopeful, and the president has said this in his tweets, that he's more hopeful that now the Mexicans will really follow through. And it's entirely possible uh, that that's the case, that we will see um, the deployment of troops and the uh, willingness to accept uh, asylum seekers back into Mexico, that that will accelerate uh, and that some of the frustration that the American officials have had over the past few months, that, that, that some of these initiatives haven't been moving as quickly as they would have liked, that that will be better. But that, that's not to say that they're new initiatives. All right. Michael Shearer, appreciate it. Always. Thank you.